I want to take a minute to talk to you about these adjustable feet that I've been using on my cabinets for years at this point. These things solve all your problems when dealing with uneven floors, and it also protects the floors because the feet are made of rubber. We have an insert, right? This is a quarter inch by 20 insert, and I'll put a picture of the bag up here for you to look at. Also, we have the male side, which is the threaded side, that's going to go into the insert, right? Which has this nice, this rubber foot along the bottom, which has a nice rubber pad along the bottom of it, which will not uh, damage your floors, right? This is going to screw in there like so, okay? And as we screw this thing in, let it bottom out, you can see that the back of the threaded part does not protrude past the insert itself, right? That's important. If it does, you need to drill your hole a little bit differently. So pay close attention to our gap right here. I'm gonna move this cabinet. And what you're seeing when I'm rocking this cabinet is you're seeing that gap move, right? And that's every foot that's on the lower part of this credenza, right? This credenza has six feet on it. So if any one of those causes the cabinet to be high centered, one of the feet causes the cabinet to be higher or lower, it can throw all of these gaps off. Now, how are we gonna install the sensor? Okay, we got a couple tools and people will, will have their preferential way to do this, but you do it whatever way you wanna do it, okay? We've got a butterfly bit here, or spade bit. I mean, there's all kinds of different names for these things, butterfly bit. Anyway, and then we also have Forster bits, right? You can also use a drill bit if you want. The key is that when you go to thread your insert in there, that you have some meat for those threads to thread into, right? You gotta have some wood there. But one thing I'll point out that most people don't point out is that if we get in here real close, you'll see that the insert itself has a taper along there, right? It goes like so, okay? Most people forget about that. So you're gonna need to put a slight countersink on your hole after you're done drilling it so that this insert can seat down in the nice. Otherwise, that wood will wanna split, especially if you don't have much edge distance between the metal on your insert and the outside of your foot. So pay attention to that, don't forget it. I'm gonna use a center point here from the lathe where they turn this leg on as my pilot hole for drilling my 3 8 hole down into my foot. I'm just gonna grab whatever drill bit I have as long as the bit isn't bigger than the pilot on my butterfly bit here, I don't really care. Come down to one on my drill, so it's a little bit torquier. You can see that when that goes in there, it threads in very nicely. We'll get a feel for how deep we need to go. So it looks like, in this case, we could just go up to the Diablo symbol here, and that'll be plenty deep for our insert. Here's a quick tip. Use a little bit of wax to use for waxing your tool beds. Take just a little tiny bit of that. We'll put that on the threads. Just a little bit, doesn't take much. Now it'll make this thing thread in there much easier. We'll take our Allen key that literally comes with our inserts. It should thread in fairly easily. It shouldn't be super difficult. Nice and flush, just like that. We can take this. We can thread this in here and make sure that it goes in all the way. Excellent day. Now we're gonna put this on all the rest of our feet on our credenza here. We'll stand this thing up. I'll kind of show you what the cool thing about these feet are. All right, so we have our adjustable foot installed here and you can see that we can literally just turn it, right? And you can see that that foot is working its way down. And this again, allows us to fill gaps within the floor, depending on what the customer's floor is doing. You can... The truth is my customers pay a ton of money for my furniture. These credenzas are about 6,000 bucks a piece and you better believe when, when my shipper delivers that piece of furniture to their house and installs this cabinet, the customer does not want to have uneven gaps. So we use adjustable feet to keep our cabinet gaps looking as good at my customers' homes as they do in the shop where we make them.